been so dialed in with Warzone lately that we haven't really gotten the chance to talk about the other happenings in the COD world. And we're nearing April, and that's when things really start to open up in terms of future projects and the information we have readily available on them. Whether that be a teaser for the next upcoming title or something else entirely, April and May is really when the fans wanting to know what's next usually get their first taste of what's coming down the road. Though the last few days honestly have kind of been a whirlwind of information when it comes to not only the upcoming title later on this year, but also surprisingly the long lasting rumors of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So today I want to discuss with you all that we know so far so that you know exactly what to expect and exactly what people are talking about. So we're going to break down that information regarding Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and some leaks pertaining to COD 2020. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you want to see this said Modern Warfare 2 Remastered happening? And what do you think about the topic of a soft reboot for the Black Ops series in this upcoming year's title? Let me know. And as well, if you are new to the channel and have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. There's going to be so much stuff over the coming months, so make sure you're sticking it right here on the channel for everything you need to know on a daily basis. That said, let's jump into it. Let's start with what's rumored to be happening earlier rather than later, that being the discussion of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now, this isn't the first time that we've heard about the prospect of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. In fact, the rumors started almost immediately after Modern Warfare Remastered was released with Infinite Warfare a couple of years back. Players immediately thought that, hey, Hey, they just continue this cycle of releasing them maybe annually, but that never happened. But Modern Warfare 2 first popped up on an Amazon Italy listing in March of 2018, actually two years ago to this date, where we saw that it would be listed as a campaign-only remaster, and it would be released shortly thereafter that listing. That never happened. A little later on down the line, last year, February 28th, it was actually seen officially listed on the Peggy Ratings Board official website, not just something that could have been made up by anybody. It was officially listed there. It was as well confirmed by many industry insiders, including Jason Schreier, who confirmed it on Kind of Funny's Games podcast. And now the most recent information comes that there was a listing for the campaign only remaster on South Korea's rating board. So both of those coming from official governing bodies of the video game world and that first Amazon Italy listing having happened from the official Activision and Blizzard listing profiles on Amazon. So honestly, the mystery continues. It's currently listed as a campaign remaster, nothing more, nothing less. So that may seem asinine to some people, being that the most iconic Call of Duty title wouldn't be iconic without the large chunk of what made that game, the MP. But really, we have no real indicator. But it's interesting that for the third major time, a listing of this has popped up once per the past three years, it seems like now at this point, if you're counting this year. One thing, though, from a purely analytical standpoint and marketing perspective that I'd consider with the entirety of this rumor is that if it does come soon, it may shoot a handful of things in the foot. Most notably, though, that player base of Warzone and Modern Warfare, specifically to the idea of this maybe coming with a multiplayer, which it doesn't seem to indicate given than what we have at the moment. Theoretically speaking, if it does come with a multiplayer, maybe you want to play that, but maybe you also want to play Warzone but also maybe you want to play Ground War in Modern Warfare 2019. There's only so much time in the day, and the player population would then be scattered and cut down. That was the big thing that we saw with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, because you had Black Ops 3 still retaining player base, you had Infinite Warfare with its player base, and then you had Modern Warfare Remastered cutting that and then tearing it in three different ways, which is why I kind of expect to, if this does release in the sometime near future, not to have MP. But that's the thing, though, is that I do definitely think this has been done for quite some time time. Across the last two years, we've seen listings from the official Activision Blizzard profiles for Amazon, the official Pan-European Game Information Rating website, and now the official South Korean Ratings Board. I can't believe that this game, at least for the campaign, has not been done and is just sitting on a shelf for a rainy day. Now, when that may be, who knows? I don't think that a campaign only would be something that could bolster sales if there's another title that they just don't think is going to sell as well. I think Modern Warfare Remastered was unique because it was the first remaster, plus it was a full game that you got included with another game. So two for just above the price of one. And if they're looking to drop it on a whim, well, then I guess we're waiting. The entire scenario is just entirely weird to me. But that said, that's the new stuff here with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But let's talk a little bit about Call of Duty 2020, this upcoming fall's introduction into the franchise. Right now, we don't really have all that much. There's nothing official in the terms of what's been said by Treyarch, what's been said by Activision, what's been said by any Call of Duty accounts. But we have some information from the Gaming Revolution, who has been a prominent leaker throughout the last year or so. And while some of the stuff, and we're talking very minimal stuff, 
stuff hasn't really checked out, that's predominantly been something due to developmental changes. The guy's track record has been pretty dang clean for the most part, so as always with the leaks, take it with a grain of salt, but the information is there and interesting no less. It was previously reported though that Treyarch was taking over the works of Sledgehammer and Raven, but with so much more swirling around the rumor mill right now, we may have some things to denote more specifics of what may be coming. Firstly, let's talk about the thematic setting. Right now, it's said to be a reboot of the Black Ops franchise in a soft mannerism similar to how Modern Warfare handled its franchise reboot, bringing back a Vietnam War era gameplay style campaign and narrative with the likes of Alex Mason and Frank Woods returning and the ensemble supposedly coming as well, but recast and portrayed by new actors, which I think will be certainly a hard pill to swallow initially given that Frank Woods is James C. Burns and Alex Mason is Sam Worthington to many, just like Price was Billy Murray to so many in the Modern Warfare storyline. But breaking into a slight little subdivision here of that, I think that Barry Sloan did an absolutely phenomenal job as Price, so here's to hoping that if that holds true, we'll see another standout job. But there's some other details from TGR sources that we can talk about, some MP, some zombies, and some prospective battle royale. Now, let's start with the MP stuff, because I think that's probably where the majority of us will be primarily concerned with. Firstly, let's talk about the fact that large player count modes seem to be making a return based off the information here, things like 32v32. And that's honestly looking like it could become a stable for future COD games, which from a personal perspective, I don't mind. I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but from a business perspective, I definitely think this was done to kind of cut into Battlefield's market and the stranglehold they have on some larger player count gameplay. With Call of Duty being something that's more frequently released, it could theoretically bring more players over from the Battlefield community if they see that they have something new to play on a little bit more than say another Battlefield game. Apparently, we also will be seeing the return of classic three lane Treyarch maps. Manual healing may be making a return as well, which personally, I think that while I love manual healing, I do appreciate how Modern Warfare handled it this year. I think that it's great to have the option that players can choose. You can sacrifice an equipment to manually heal, or you could just let it happen. Maybe you guys disagree, but personally, I kind of like how it was introduced this year, where it wasn't something that you had to do it. Known kill streaks, according to this information, include UAV, counter UAVs, a dog style streak, and a bomber plane that kind of acts as an EMP, as we've seen in different titles, where it'll be so far above that it will take out other aerial kill streaks as well. Operators are apparently making a return, being cosmetic only, with no specialist feature like we saw in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, which I'm kind of glad about personally. Black Ops 4 specialists, I've been open about it. I never really liked them. I thought Black Ops 3 handled specialists way better than Black Ops 4, where you had to choose between a lethal or a tactical ability, not having both. I kind of thought Black Ops 4 specialists were more so handouts than anything else. On the zombies front, it's said to be a lot different than Black Ops 4, with perks and pack-a-punch returning, but more barriers of play in different ways, which Black Ops 4 kind of shook up the mold and made things, I think, ever more complicated for the casual players. Transit may be getting a remake or a remaster or a reimagination here. The entire storyline seems to be rebooted, but we won't know if it's the same or if it's going to be something that continues on or is kind of like a soft reboot in Modern Warfare where same characters, but not the same universe. Apparently the chaos storyline will not be returning, which was kind of a bummer. I think that that kind of finally hit its stride at the end of its introductions in Black Ops 4. While MP DLC will likely be free, it's said that Zombies is exploring their their own paid sort of season pass with that, which will be an interesting dynamic, I think, to see the split between a free and a paid model, but we'll see if that actually comes true. Talking about Battle Royale, because it's kind of the main thing right now that we're seeing within Warzone, and of course, Blackout was such a huge focal point of Black Ops 4. There's no real information on it, but I would not be surprised if we don't see a Battle Royale introduced with whatever the next Call of Duty title is. That being for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, Warzone wasn't introduced with launch of Modern Warfare. So you'd be cutting the life cycle short by introducing something that would be launching with the next Call of Duty title. As well, talking with developers, talking with some of the people at Activision, it's been said that they want to keep this going for years to come. They want this to be something that is the standalone experience for Call of Duty. And so therefore, hearing about how much was poured into this, how many resources, how much was invested into it, I don't see them giving it up after just 
what, seven months or so? I can't see that happening. So maybe we see something with the next Call of Duty title thrown into Warzone. Perhaps there is an introduction of a map that goes along with it, but it's still a standalone application. But right now, it's kind of uncertain if this will be the case. I don't personally think, though, that we'll see something happen like this, where we have a tethered BR to whatever the next Call of Duty title is. I think we'll be going back to that traditional three of campaign, MP, and co-op, which would be zombies in this case. That said, that's a lot to digest and a lot to take in. And that's all we know right now for relating to Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and whatever Call of Duty 2020 may be. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below because like we said there is a lot to digest here with it so what do you make of it do you think modern warfare 2 remastered will actually be happening do you think it's going to drop here in the next coming weeks to months as a campaign only do you think it's going to be held off for something that may include mp what do you think of the talk about 2020 do you want to see a soft reboot and a revisitation of the vietnam war era whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but that said hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things call of duty whether that be modern warfare Warzone, Call of Duty 2020, or maybe Modern Warfare 2 remastered information. We got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected outside of YouTube. Practically on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But that's it now. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.